So I have here the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation up to 24 hour wear. I did try this once before so it's not going to be first impressions which I like because I can tell you more about the product. This one retails for $40. This is the shade 20NN. This is not the first shade that I had gotten just so you know I got the shade 30NN first because I ordered it online. I ordered that number because that is a light neutral with neutral undertone so that's what i am this is why i like to look at videos or reviews first because you just never know it all depends on the brand you can't always count on it like i've gotten the light with neutral undertones from several brands and it's just way too dark instead of getting this one i went to the store and let me just tell you what a nightmare at sephora to return all I wanted to do was change the shade and they gave me such a hard time. Manager came out and she finally changed it. Like It's not like I wanted a refund or anything. I hadn't used the product. I just saw it and I saw that it was so much darker. 120NN, fair neutral with a neutral undertone. They did match me over there at Sephora, which I thought all the shades looked pretty yellow just so you know um, i didn't feel like any one of them was gonna be the right shade here you go so it's 20 and n do get one ounce here flexible breathable real skin matte finish you know i always gotta go for my matte finish medium buildable coverage does not transfer minimizes the appearance of pores stay true to color we will see i haven't done a swatch of this one but we will do it see if it oxidizes waterproof a vegan formula does not contain animal derived ingredients or byproducts i used to have an urban decay favorite which was the all-nighter foundation when i used to like really full coverage that was so beautiful the packaging i thought it was really interesting i wouldn't say is my favorite but here it is it comes with a nice pump we have about like i think it's like 50 shades available so you have a really good selection if you're able to find your shade medium coverage use a sponge full coverage a flat brush just so you know i like to apply my foundation with a sponge before we get started if you're new welcome my name is jen jen's beauty style and please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed i'll leave all the list of the foundations that i have tried if you would like to see that Let's go ahead and do the swatch. We'll leave this right there because I will go back and do another swatch so we can see how much if the color changes. I'm going to go ahead and use something more hydrating than usual for me at least. This is the Fenty Beauty Hydrovisor Invisible Moisturizer. Even if you're oily like me, like you need a moisturizer. I'm going to go ahead and do half of my face i will show you how much it covers just with one pump and if one pump is enough and then i'll talk to you more about it this is the first pump it gave a really good coverage it doesn't look as bad because like i said i primed with something moisturizing not like super intense but moisturizing as you see it is a really nice color it's a bit yellow though but it's a nice color covered my imperfections the redness i'm gonna go ahead and do the two layers just so you see how much you can build it up so it's definitely looking beautiful as you see still see some redness so you can go ahead and just put some concealer does not have a scent so that's a plus i don't get bothered by scents but i know a lot of people do so i don't feel like it's doing anything to my pores like making it look better or anything so now I'm just going to do the other half. And it gives you a really nice time to blend too. It doesn't dry immediately. Right now, like, you see, it doesn't look like super, super matte. It doesn't dry out like to a super matte. 
but I always have to set my face. I cannot leave it like that. The Givenchy Prism Libre. Want to dust off some. You want a powder that is very finely milled. Oh my god, what a difference. I've been obsessed with this powder since I got it. I'm going to do the other swatch now. I think we gave it enough time just so you can see if there's a color difference. I see it. I definitely see it. I hope you can see it. It's not major, the new one. I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup and then I'll come and show you how everything looks together. The color looks amazing. As you can see, this shade is a really good match for me, just in case you're the same tone as me. Again, it's 20NN. The foundation looks nice. I wouldn't say it looks like skin, you know? can't sit here and tell you that it's my favorite foundation. I don't think it makes the pores look really nice or anything, to me at least. I don't think it does like anything for the pores. Would I say you have to go out and buy this? You're gonna love it? No. If you use all powder products, I think it would be okay. But like if you use like creams on top of this, at least for me it didn't work really well. I put a cream blush that I was trying out for the first time and I just felt like like it moved the foundation. We'll keep trying it. Again, this is just my second day from trying it out. I don't, I did use it before, like I said, and I don't feel like I get super oily with this one. I also have the Too Faced to try out for you, the Fenty Beauty, and I just did the one for Givenchy if you haven't seen it. But again, I'll leave the playlist of all the foundations that I have tried, but this is definitely not one that it's like highly rated for me at least, okay? But see if you can get a sample what you think of it. Update you, of course, because sometimes we have to learn how to work with a product. So in the beginning, maybe it's just the way that, that I'm applying it, but we'll see. I'll have to keep testing it out and I'll update you to see if anything changes. But there's others that I'm definitely loving more than this one. Any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.